Okay, so you might be wondering, what am I doing? Aiming this at my, um, you know, my uh, bathtub, right? So I know that things are going to get bad, and I'm trying to gauge just how much water I'm going to need uh, to take a shower and stay clean when maybe water goes up in price, or maybe I have to go to the lake and get some water. And... Um, it's just a way of preparing, right? Okay, so many people have stopped using toilet paper and they're now using this bag here and they basically uh, hose themselves down by pumping this soap into their hand, uh, first uh, hosing themselves down and washing themselves and avoiding, first of all, that extra stuck tissue that sometimes comes out when you're in the shower and avoiding the smell because quite frankly toilet tissue is not clean it's not sanitary it spreads the stuff if you know what i mean where this over here hoses it off with soap and water keep keeping you clean all day long because every time you go to the restroom you hold yourself down if it's number two you pump some 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 soap in it right okay and if you're lacking water uh and and, and you can't shower every day uh, we don't know how bad the times are going to be, then you could soap your um, everything down there as opposed to just the hiney, right? Okay, so um, I decided to reuse a vinegar gallon water, which is the one to the far right, and the one to, to with the sponge hanging off it next to it to the left, uh, I have soapy water. So I'm going to uh, uh, try this uh, method to see if I can get away with taking a satisfactory shower uh, with what I call um, a gallon and a quarter. 1.25 a gallon. No, actually a gallon and a half. Well, I I'll get you those measurements later because it is a large um, vinegar thing and it's, what does it say? 12 full ounces. It's a little heavy. And this is ha half a gallon here. Okay. So, does it really say 12 full ounces? 128 full ounces. So, it's one gallon. It is one gallon. Okay. So, one gallon here and half a gallon here. So, 1.5 uh, gallon. Let's see if I'm going to be happy with this kind of shower. If, let's say, I were living in a van. Or if let's say I'm at home and I don't have water anymore because I can't afford to pay for it because uh, the government is controlling everything. Uh, or maybe I may have to run across the street if I have a lake, fill up these bottles, uh, get it um, purified. I do have a purification system that I am building and that would be another story for another film. So let me just pause and I'm going to test this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with the shower, and um, I used all of this up, and I actually added a quarter more of water to it so I could spray the tub around me, and um, I used this item to scrub myself. Now, uh, just remember, if, you're, if you don't have the luxury of showering every day, um, people who RV, uh, who camp, they don't shower every day. Um, how would I do it if I were them? I would use salt as a deodorant, something I've been using for many years. Okay. And all you do is you scrub this wet on your, arm, on your under, armpit. And I've been using it for about 30 years. So I don't worry much about that because I get itchy when, when the salt stops working. So all I got to do is scrub it again and it's like once every three days. Okay. <clears throat> So if you're in a campsite and you're not able to, every interviewer here is, um, everyone says that they shower once a week. Um, I don't know how they could, could do that without using a bidet and hosing themselves at least daily, if not every time they go, right? Uh, a toilet paper definitely does not keep you clean. It actually makes you stinky. Okay. Um, so even if you use toilet paper, at least holds yourself at the end of the day. Um, if you don't, you should hold yourself every time you go, right? Um, if you have room in your RV for other needs, I think this is, should be included. Okay. So I used a, about a gallon and a quarter 
of just water and I had, had, had it warmed up. I have the luxury that I do have a bathtub, right? But I am testing the grounds. Uh, I used a half a gallon of soapy water and there's still some in there. Okay. Uh, but I also used some of this soap uh, along with these brushes. Uh, these brushes are great. Uh, this one, use it toward the end because it's going to make sure you're squeaky clean. Anything that's there, uh, I would say it's coming out. Any dirt, right? Any old dirt. Because if, if you haven't showered in a week, you're going to want to make sure you're squeaky clean at the end of your shower. You don't want to just do a quick shower. You, you, you want to make sure the dirt is out, okay? Because you don't want to be eaten by bugs um, before you die, right? <laughs> Let them eat you up when afterwards right when your body is six feet under all right so as you can see i have amenities i have a, a scrub brush um glove i have uh, the famous little sponge kind of netted material whatever it's really plastic i don't really use that much i have this um item that's a sponge inside of a cloth and this part is uh, rough a little rougher on the skin okay so all of these brushes are very good tools. Uh, this is used on the soapy water. You just pump two or three, two or three pumps of soap. I still use some of this. I apply my brush to this soap. I put water in it just to soften it up. And I use that other brush first, then this one. And I also use this. So I take, I don't take a, such a quick shower, okay? Uh, considering that I, it's a squeaky clean shower uh, that I took, uh, one and a quarter water gallon. You could really get away with it with one gallon, by the way. Uh, I just had the luxury to be able to refill it. Um, and half a gallon of soapy water, and you don't even get to use all of that. Uh, you can use the rest of it when you're using the bidet, right? Um, every time you go. Even if you're using a bucket, just get a spray, spray, you know, spray it in the bucket. Okay? Uh, and if you're out camping, you use biodegradable soap, I guess. It's the soap. Uh, there's a popular soap out there that I never really liked, but if it's biodegradable, I would have to uh, accept it, right? Because I, I, I won't want to do any harm to the grounds where I'm at. So it worked out pretty good. Just just to let you know, okay? You could really get away with one gallon of water just to wash off the soap. Uh, half a gallon of soapy water. Do use intermittently uh, a brush dipped into. Uh, some soft soap, you know, you soften it with water. And mine is uh, nice herbal soap. And at the end, give yourself a nice tight brush with this end because that's going to make sure you're squeaky clean right there. Okay, uh, that's really needed more so if, if you can't shower every day. Uh, it, it's great for when you're in the campground because if you're skipping days and showering, it's a great tool, okay? In the summer, it's actually a great tool, too, because you, you sweat, right? So, um, I, I'm giving it thumbs up, just so you know. You could get away with this amount of water, soap, um, and tools to get yourself squeaky clean. Thank you for watching.